Uh, good afternoon, parents and students at Fulford School. Just want to put a quick video clip together which shows the most efficient ways in which we know that students are using class charts and helping them to manage their time and manage their workloads to be as successful as they possibly can during this lockdown period. A huge thank you to all of you for everything that, that you're doing. Um, we know that you're all working incredibly hard and doing as much as you possibly can to keep up with your studies and engage with the work which staff are putting on to class charts for you. So thank you very much for all that, that you're doing. You'll have noticed and seen from Mr Lewis's letter on Friday and the change in the way that work's gone on from today that we are changing our use of um, class charts. We're trying to make it as efficient as we possibly can for everyone and give students the most opportunity to be successful and, and manage their time effectively. Now one of the things that we know some students have had a few issues with is having the date range set here. Um, so some students the custom range might be showing as something which is a more extended period of time. Please can you make sure to make the best use of this that you've clicked on that there to change the date range and you're showing this week from that point you'll have show by issue date you'll have this week and you'll be able to see that all the pieces of work that have been set to you this week now what we've asked staff to do is to work from the monday to a friday so you'll have work set on the monday which is due in for the friday that means that you can manage your time over the course of the week knowing which tasks that you've got to get done. We've asked staff um, to set work in a way which you'll be able to access easily, it'll be well broken down for you, and it should be in some really manageable chunks. So that was the first big change you'll, you'll see we're working from Monday to Friday, so all of your work will be due in on a Friday and it'll be set on a Monday. So when you log on on a Monday, it might look like you've got quite a bit of work to do, but that is all of the tasks that you will be asked to do this week. So it really does give you the opportunity to manage your time. The most important part of that is having the date range set correctly. So I'm showing this week and having show by issue date. One of the other things which has come up as a bit of an issue sometimes when we've been talking to parents is that where students have logged in on their parents account, they've been unable to upload work. So if you see here this piece of work from Mr. Mellors, the year seven music piece, um, as the student works through this, they'll see at the bottom that there's a real clear blue upload attachment box. So this is where Mr. Mellors is asking the students to upload their work for him to be able to give some feedback on that work. If you are logged in on a parent account, you won't be able to see that upload attachment box. You have to be logged in as a student. At the start of the video, you'll have seen there was the class chats at Fulford email address. So if you need your parents, um, if you need your student login, sorry, then email that address and we'll be able to get your student login across to you but it's really important you're logged in as a student not on your parents account to enable you to upload attachments can be um, a maximum of five you can see that they need to be less than 250 meg please and you can see there's all of those different file formats though there so parents and um, teachers will be asking you to upload specific things be it um, photos of work or documents whatever whatever it is but that's the way that that happens please You'll have noticed that there's far fewer announcements coming through, so we've asked staff not to use announcements unless they're absolutely necessary, so you won't be receiving any work through the announcements section. All of your work will be set through homework, and what's worth noting on your announcements is this little pin icon here. So where an announcement has been pinned by a member of staff, it'll sit at the top of your chronological list of announcements. So once you've got past those that are pinned, you then get into a chronological list, date order of the work, um, the announcements which are there. But like I say, those announcements will be far fewer now because of the way that we've asked staff to use those. A really important point to stress is the students and the use of this little grey box. What that box enables the students to do is to tick off when they've completed their work. So with this model of working, work being set on a Monday and doing on a Friday, once a student has ticked that box to say they've completed that task, what happens is you get a nice visual representation of that on your completed list. And this is really important for students to be able to tick the work off and see what they've completed, and then also importantly, what they've got less uh, left to complete. 
Clearly, as the week goes on, they'll get more in the completed box and fewer items in the to-do area, but that only happens if the student does tick the work off as they're doing it. So please reinforce that, and students, please really use that, um, use that ticking off mechanism, and it gives you the opportunity well, to see your success, but also helps you with managing how many tasks are in your work uh, to be completed for that week. We've asked staff and have turned back on the ability for staff to be able to um, give you positive comments through class chat. So you'll see them starting to come through again. So you'll be able to see on your behavior announcements where you've picked up positives from staff who are recognizing the efforts that you're going to and want to be able to reward you and ensure the, the credit there that, that you deserve. Thank you very much for everything that you're doing. The class chats at Fulford email address is there if you need any further support. Just send an email into that and the right member of staff will be able to support you with that. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful. It's, very, it's quite basic, it's quite simple, but we're trying to just make it as efficient and as effective as we can for, for all students and parents. Thank you.